it's gonna hit every time. Every single time. Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another vlog. I've been trying to vlog more often, but it's kind of hard to vlog when you literally eat, sleep, and breathe college. For those of you guys that don't know or if you're new here, first off, hi, my name is Jaji. I am a freshman in college. Last week, we just took midterms, and in about two weeks, we have finals. There's kind of like this gray area where teachers kind of go easy on us because they're still grading midterms and also prepping for the finals. For these first couple months that I've been in college, I have not been able to make time for myself or anything that I want to do. Everywhere you look in college, it's due dates, assignments, projects. Did I mention I picked up Japanese? That's kind of what this vlog is paying homage to. It's just gonna be you guys following me around, doing the things that I have not had time to do since I've been in college. So for the next two days, pretty much, we're gonna be spending a lot of time together. So first things first, I did get these two huge boxes in the mail of clothing that I have to do fall hauls for. I need to get on that because I think the seasons are about to change and these clothes will soon not be fitting anymore. While I was looking through my closet, I realized that I didn't have space, so I spent the entire entire morning going through my closet and taking out all the clothes that I don't wear. The good thing is every time that I do this I tend to list my clothing on Depop. If you guys don't know I've been selling my clothes on Depop for quite a while now. December will actually make a year since my Depop shop has been open. I want to give a big thank you to Depop for sponsoring this video and helping me get you guys all my clothes. So I'm just going to show you guys a couple of the pieces that I picked out but there is going to be way more available on my Depop so if you guys are interested either type at Jaji Dior in the Depop app or you can click the link in my description and it'll give you a direct link to my Shop. one of the first items that's going to be up there is this leather jacket which is perfect for the fall time it is from primark and it is in a size us2 it's too small for me which is why i'm listing it but i've had this since my sophomore year of high school usually the cheap leather jackets start to peel over time and nobody wants that and this one is still holding up really well a detail that i love about this jacket is the dark metal detailing that it has all along the jacket and on the belt buckle it just makes the jacket look so much more expensive and it reminds me of like old school balmain the next thing that i have are these like orangey yellow i'm a little colorblind so i don't know what color these are these are still new with tags like i said i told you guys a lot of my stuff i just never got the chance to wear these are also in a size two they're too small for me and i also don't dress this bold with colors but i know one of you guys are gonna be able to make this look way better than i ever could just a warning i was really obsessed with adida when i was in high school so there's gonna be a lot of adida pieces up there so if you like adida head over to my depop one of my favorite items that i'm listing is this adidas track jacket it is a cream color with this super colorful super bright moth in the back it also has the blue stripe detailing and then the red adidas logo in the front it's in a size extra small so again it's too small for me i also don't wear adidas like that but if you guys can style this go ahead by all means this adida pullover hoodie is also going to be up there it is a burgundy and deep red and i do believe this is in a size extra small as well i also have what i think are the matching leggings but i'm gonna list them separate just in case you want one and not the other you don't want to commit to a full outfit burgundy again with the red stripe and then it has a white on white adidas logo which i feel like is a really cute detail these are also in a size us small the last thing that i'm going to show is this guest sweatsuit that i have it has like the guest peaking bands over it it kind of looks like you know boxers or something and again it is burgundy i don't know what was up with me in the color burgundy it's also going to come with the hoodie that has the guess across the chest that rhymes it also does have like this super warm fur lining in the inside so again this will be really good for the upcoming cold weather the bottoms are a size small and the top is a size extra small so again these are both going to be listed as a pair on my depop so those are all the items that i'm going to show you guys for today if you guys are interested in any of these or anything else that i have listed on my depop you can again type my name at jaji dior in the depop app or you can click the link in my description even though i sell my clothes on depop i also do enjoy buying from there kind of at the age where i'm like experimenting with my style and throwing new things in my wardrobe and depop is just an extremely affordable and sustainable way to let me do that i highly recommend you guys download the app because even if you don't want to buy anything from me you can start selling clothes from your closet and make a little extra cash to buy more clothes or pay your college tuition who knows last but not least i want to give another big thank you to depop for sponsoring today's video Design the head and toe. I sit to the head and float. I already fed the pole. Niggas too scared to go. I couldn't 
my hands and soak. Get a meat, let it drag on the floor. It's another in the bed that I told. Rockin' hard, we ain't having no hope. Bitch, I'm the man. Did we no advance? Give my nigga a chance. Try and see what he gon' do. He done ran on the bands. First stop is the 99 cent store because I have a dead phone. You guys know I have my own car, but it's just like, I know I'm getting old really fast. I don't even care about like going where I want to go. It's just like, I don't want to lose my parking. I don't have a charger piece thingy. I don't drive my car that often. And I just feel like it's senseless to leave like a charger in here. So I have to go to 99 cent store to buy a new charger or a charger that I can just keep in my car. I can't really go anywhere because I don't have directions. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for my phone to charge up a little bit. But while I'm sitting here, let me tell you guys what happened when I went inside the nail salon. I just recently started wearing those like stocking socks. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, they're like the socks that they give you to try on when you go to the store. So with that being said, I wore them to the nail salon, but keep in mind, it's normal to me. So I'm forgetting that I'm wearing them. So when I took my shoes off, I know the lady was just looking at me like like why are you wearing those but to me it's normal and i like the way they feel i don't know they just feel better than socks again i just don't feel like they're socially acceptable so i was embarrassed but whatever we're out let's get out of this parking lot because i feel like people are starting to look at me this is a 30 minute drive i feel like my navigation is a little loud but you'll get over it these people right here are taking pictures and they think that i'm looking at them because they're taking pictures but in all reality i'm looking at you because i feel like you're looking at me film i was just so nervous when it's time to like start my car because i feel like i don't know what i'm doing at the next light turn left jesus christ siri bro i hate traffic on the highway like how is there traffic just drive straight so i'm on my way to barnes and noble right now to buy another book because I've been on the real self-help side of books lately, but I want to get into like the fictional and the scary books because I just personally feel like how scary could a book really be? We used to have a Barnes & Noble in the Bronx, but it got taken down for a Saks Fifth Avenue because I guess they were getting no customers. Driving still makes me so nervous. Like I'm literally sweating in here, but I'll tell you one thing for sure. I'm definitely not in the Bronx. We're not in Kansas anymore. Okay, I cannot multitask. So I'm gonna get back to you guys when I'm in the Barnes & Noble parking lot. If they even have a parking lot, I hope they do because I do not know how to park. Okay. Turn right into the parking lot. Oh, there's a parking lot, yes. I'm like 90% sure that my car is parked like this, but nobody's around me, so it's okay. And there's also like a thousand parking spots next to me. So if you park next to me, I feel like you're singling me out and that's bullying. title that drew me to it this book is basically about a girl that moves into a new neighborhood and she starts hearing stuff and seeing stuff in her new apartment and then i saw this which you guys know i came here for stephen king so i am leaning towards this the thing is that stephen king has a lot of books that are extremely thick and i just don't know which one to pick because i've never heard of any of them the only ones that i have heard of are the ones that are named after movies like pet cemetery or what's the other one the shining but then i found this which is basically like four short horror stories which i feel like again would be good for my short attention span i also feel like it'll be a good appetizer to start getting into stephen king and the way that he writes so i think i'm gonna get this and then i found this book in the young adult section which is called crush it says it's phantom's new favorite vampire romance obsession which if you guys know me i love vampire diaries and i just recently watched twilight that i fell in love with so i think this is really up my alley it's just really thick like you really think i'm gonna get through this whole book last but not least i saw this book walking past and if you guys have seen all the stuff that's going on in the media with will talking about his new like book i think this is the book he's talking about so i kind of wanted to read this just to kind of like see what the real tea is on mr smith i don't think i'm gonna get this book though just because i kind of don't want to read about other people's problems but it is really tempting all right guys brb because people just walked in the aisle so i'm talking to myself <laughs> Okay, 
yeah, I just put Target in the navigation. I gotta get there and go home. It's getting dark out already. It's only 4.40 now, but I, I don't have my glasses. So once it gets dark outside, I become a danger to the roads. I told you guys before, I'm not a good multitasker. And right now I'm trying to talk, follow the navigation and drive. So I'm gonna get back to you guys when I get into Target. And I'm in the parking lot right now. I'm only going there for body care, but you know, when you go into Target, do you ever go there just for what you're going there for? No. Who knows what I'm gonna come out of there with. I already spent $135 in Barnes & Noble. It is the 21st, so today is YouTube payday, but after today, I'm not spending any money for the rest of the year. I'm in the elevator taking the cart downstairs because I didn't realize people are Christmas shopping right now. So, Target is packed. Ain't no time I ain't late. Uh, stay right up on my name, babe. Sit back and roll on, hey, hey. Smoking that shit to the face, hey. I'm color cool, different race. I'm not getting older. Hey, hey, hey. Ain't seeing the time of the day. Uh, I'm coming from the A, man. Strip back in the main way, man. Starting off in the best lane, man. Smoke up out to the brain, man. Sliding that bend and move, same, same. I'm gonna try to get a flat. I'm kind of scared, but I feel like it's not gonna hurt. I mean, I have my industrial pierce. I got this when I was like 13. I mean, I know a lot of people have a flat. I just want another piercing. I literally haven't got pierced since I was 13. I want to do something different that nobody had. Because like I said, when I had the industrial, nobody had the industrial. I'm about to start piercing my fingernails. It's over. People wait, no, because people actually do pierce their nails. So he wouldn't let me film in there, but I got it pierced. I don't know if you guys can see it. Don't look at my lace. My lace looks crunchy. <laughs> it was one, two, three though, honestly. Pain level was like a three for like a second. It don't hurt right now. I don't feel nothing. I didn't know that the piercing for a flat is like curved. I thought it was just like straight and then it had a flat back. But yeah, it's curved and I think it looks ugly with the bowl. But once I'm able to change it, he didn't tell me how long it would take to heal either. We waited for our Uber to go to Bay Plaza now and then I have to go to like Panera, Sephora. I think I'm gonna stop at the Apple store to see if they can do something with my computer. And I'll let you guys know when the Uber's here. I can't stop looking at it. Nobody's ever gonna see this anyway. It's hot. I'm gonna give you guys a haul because when I get home, I'm always super tired because I'm not built for outside. Anytime I take like a step outside, even if it's for like 30 minutes, I'll be tired when I get home. Bath and Body Works is having a buy three, get three free sale, so go ahead run over there actually no i'm gonna do the stuff that i got from sephora first i was gonna get the big one of this and then two of the mason Mangella like replica perfumes and i'm there right that's too much this is the valentino volse viva and i think this is the one that lady gaga collaborated with them on this is how the packaging looks it's super pretty this is like a rubber and then it's like the glass bottle inside which is good because i've cracked this before like i put it in my bag and it cracked before so yeah this is super pretty mason Mangella replica perfume this is in the smell bubble bath i wanted to get like 
beach walk or by the beach or something with the beach but they didn't have the sample perfume of it they only had the big bottle that was all i got in sephora that was like 63 dollars because the travel perfumes are 30 dollars each then we went a little crazy in bath and body works birch leaf and sage why can i say that that's a hard word to say pulled birch leaf and sage i can't really it's like a tongue twister but i got it because it looks pretty it's like glass and like a really pretty green color y'all know i have a hell of a lot of candles so i tried to stay away from them but i had to get this one this one was really cute y'all know i put y'all on about this all the time mahogany teakwood this is from the men's line it's like the little cologne that they have they have this and the body spray but i think this one's more like potent then they have a bunch of lip stuff which again it was like buy three get three free so i was just picking up like a bunch of little stuff these are lip scrubs there's coffee and cocoa mint peach and vanilla lip balms because i just you know like i said i was just picking up stuff at that point then i got this lanyard thing because next year my campus is gonna be open so I'm gonna be there more often and to get in the campus you have to like scan your ID so I just figured you know what I want to be a college kid and have like one of those things around my neck when I can put my ID here and then any extra cards has like the hand sanitizer thing and of course y'all know what scent I had to get I will never stop talking about the scent then I got the whole aromatherapy line because I love this and I've been using this since I was young I stole it from my mom at first and then I fell in love with it this is the lavender and vanilla sleep like aromatherapy collection from there so I got like literally everything I got the whole set this is actually what first introduced me to it this is the pillow mist so you just spray it it's also a body spray so you can use it for that too um I have a problem with getting like body care stuff I really do like this stuff even though I just got one from Dove yesterday but it's fine and then this this is the body wash again it's just the lavender sleep everything's from there and then the lotion this is in a glass bottle that i almost just broke just got my food if you guys don't know i get the caesar salad with chicken and then i get the broccoli cheddar soup because that's the best thing in this spot i don't care if they don't have it i'm not eating here talk about some things we can't undo just in the pen i can find you six one on the money nine two you just hit a word and i'll run through Text no reply, that's what I knew. I knew, I knew, yeah, I knew. Right, touchdown, you might.